to Herman Airport for day one of the endurance testing. Uh, we got the GPS module loaded on board. We're going to track altitude, distance, and duration. So this first flight we're going to kind of set our time and throttle and the rest of the flights will be the same as this one. So let's get her in the air. today. Handheld GPS did weigh in at five and a half ounces. So we added a little bit of weight to the plane. I got it pretty well trimmed out now, so it took a little extra trimming. Seems to be handling that weight okay though? Oh yeah, no problem whatsoever. Excellent. I mean, I can tell a little bit when I toss it in the air, it was a little hard, took a little extra throttle to get her to climb than I was flying on before, but I haven't touched the throttle since we went in the air. Could use a little more power to fly really good, but for this test, this is about where I want to set. So I think we're yeah, about three quarter throttle. We're up to almost three minutes in the air. try and put some tufts on the wings. I decided not to do it for this test, but I do want to do some. The yarn tuft and the keychain cam? Yeah, I was reading up a little bit. They were, one guy uh, on the RC Group's message board recommended not using yarn, it's too thick, but to use something smaller like a thread or a, I was thinking maybe a little heavier thread like an embroidery thread or something. And then I'll get those laid out all across one wing. I will mount a camera pointed down that wing. As you can see, the sun came out for us today. And you might want to get a still shot of that for like a you know, calendar or something. Yeah. Well, I mean the plane with oh. the, the beautiful sun in the background and the horizon. I thought and you meant to prove that we actually got some sun. Well, that too. You'd at least want to mark it on the calendar. It's been a while since the sun's been out. Here in Seattle, Washington. I mean, Missouri. Yeah.
picks up some speed with that tailwind. It does, doesn't it? Right at five minutes, I lost it. There we go. Still, because of my normal build method and power selection method, it still amazes me that I'm flying this plane on 28 ounces of thrust and it's weighing over 40 ounces. Not used to less than one to one thrust. Just over six minutes. Right, let's see if we can push it to seven and we'll call it there. That's six thirty. Lost it. Six forty eight, forty nine. There it is. Fifty six, fifty seven, fifty eight, fifty nine, seven. Let's keep going. Okay. It's not feeling soft. I thought it was feeling soft <laughs> there for a minute, but I guess it was just the headwind. Ah. Uh -huh. She climbed right back up, so. be able to get 10 minutes of flight. I want to cut it a little short of that, but... Can you move your left thumb just a little? Your left thumb. Thank you. Okay. Sorry. Quite alright. An, an odd request. Uh, yeah, and you're kind of involved with flying an aircraft right now. That's pesky airplanes always needing to be I flown. Know. Eight oh two. All right, let's call it at nine. Eight is kind of the high end. Of my Eight fourteen. Expectations, but at nine minutes, we're gonna kill throttle totally, and I'll just use the servo power to bring it in. I know the plane can glide, so. Keep losing it. There it is. There it was. 837. 44, 45. Stopwatch keeps changing. 53, 54. 8, 9, 9 minutes. Throttle is dead. Look at that glide. It all went fuzzy on me. Uh, that was pretty. During that beautiful glide, it went out of focus all, all right, of a sudden. So that was nine minutes. We're gonna go in, we're gonna check voltage on the battery packs. See what my, vo I monitor, we checked voltage before, we're gonna check voltage after on each battery pack, monitor the voltage lost. We've got the GPS in there to give us duration, our distance and altitude. So we'll have an average altitude that we've flown and a distance flown on all eight flights today. So, 
Let's get some. Do we want to check that uh, GPS where it sits on the ground? Yeah, it probably wouldn't hurt. Let's go okay. check the GPS. That'll show us our altitude track at different times. History, time. active track. Okay, our minimum altitude was 502 feet. Maximum altitude was 604 feet. So if anybody's wondering if we broke any FAA policies, there you go. We kept it at 102 feet. Now this says 4.47 miles. Uh, that might be some sort of a total thing. 